In addition to EasyQuery, the databank allows you to search based on any of the information that is stored in your databank. The different searches are organized by the tables of information that you have. At any time, you can search based on a table of information. The contact information is stored in the personal table. Going to Search Personal then allows me to search for any of the information that's on the personal table. In this example, I'm going to search for everybody in my databank who lives in the city of Minneapolis. To do this, all I need to do is go to City, type in Minneapolis, and click Find. This returns everybody in my databank with a matching city of Minneapolis. An extra step that I might want to do is pull only those people that live in Minneapolis and have a zip code. It's also possible to search based on multiple criteria at the same time on a single table. To do this, again I'll go to Search Personal, and now instead of just searching for the city of Minneapolis, this time I'm going to search for a specific zip code as well. Again, clicking Find returns just those people that live in Minneapolis with a zip code of 55555. It's also possible to do multi-step searches. Searching for multiple criteria would not allow me to search for those people that lived in Minneapolis and those people that lived in St. Paul. I can do this through a multi-step search. To begin my search, I'll first select just those people living in Minneapolis. Now I want to add those people that live in St. Paul. To do this, I'll go to Search Personal again. What I need to change now is my selection mode. By default, the system will set the selection mode to New Selection, meaning that it will forget whatever previous steps you have performed. In my example, I want to add the people that live in St. Paul, so I will change the selection mode to Add. I could also choose to filter my results, meaning that I'm only getting the people that match two criteria, or I can choose to remove people from my search results. For instance, if I was searching for those people that lived in Minneapolis, but did not have the zip code of 55555. Now to add those people from St. Paul, I simply go to the city field, type St. Paul, and click Find. If there's a search that you do quite often in your databank, you can save those search steps and rerun that search later. At any time, you can see the current steps that you've taken in your search. Just click on Current Search. You can also view your current search by going to Search and choosing Current. Current Search will display the steps taken to get to your current selection. To save the steps that you have taken in your search, all you need to do is click on Save, and then name your search. You can also type a description of your search if you would like. To organize your saved searches, you can create new folder names, or put your saved search in a previously named folder. If you would like other people in your organization with different logins to be able to access this search, all you need to do is click Allow Other Users to Replay This Search. Clicking Save will then save your search. To access your saved searches, go to Search, Saved. 
This will list all of your saved searches. To replay your search later, click on the edit icon. If you want, you can rerun a single step of your search at any time. Just click the play button in the run column. In this case, I only had two people whose city began with St. Paul, so now I'm only getting those two results. If I'd like to replay my entire search, all I have to do is click replay. The save search saves only your search steps, not individual members. So if you add new people to your databank, those people will then show up if they match the search criteria.